Welcome back to another episode of me pushing ladder. Today we're gonna be playing Ice Bow, and I've devised this new crazy strategy to winning every single game, all right? So hear me out. What we're gonna do is defend. So I've chosen Ice Bow because it's one of the best decks for defense, but also you've got two buildings in there and a bunch of spells, which means I can basically build like a Clash of Clans base around my towers, and we're all gonna be great. Uh, we're all gonna be good and good stuff's gonna happen to us, right? So anytime you would ever think about playing something in at the bridge, you're not gonna do that. The other thing is I'm a big proponent usually of playing things in the opposite lane when they're trying to build up a big push. So that you see here, I'm gonna log this so that the log doesn't hit the tower, all right? Because this is the new strategy, the new OP strat that no one is talking about. We're gonna play an Expo in the back. But yeah, like I'm saying, usually if, if they play a Mega Knight in the back like this, I'll spam in the other lane to make sure that they can't build up a big push so that it's easy to defend, right? But today, we're not doing that at all, right? What we're gonna do is play the most defensively I've ever played um, and just try and defend and it's gonna work. In fact, I played one whole game before this, and it worked excellently, as I'll, I'll show you in the screenshot, and one game is enough to prove to me that I am correct, alright? That is how we test hypotheses around here. You win one game, it's all good, and then I hop straight into a video and just pray that it works, and it will work, alright? This video will not be uploaded if it doesn't work, so you can rest assured knowing that this works. Anyway, because of the current living situation that I'm in, aka, um not going to university anymore because it's summer and also not having anything i have to do all day and also it's hot as shit so not being able to like go outside and run all day because of all those different factors i've started watching a lot more tv shows i never watch tv shows as i'm sure if you saw my last video you would have heard that i what i thought i played skeletons um well that kind of worked i guess i have let me just defend this real quick. I've been watching a lot more TV shows, which I'm very much not used to doing. I never really watch any shows at all. And um, it's been kind of a nice change, right? I've actually realized I enjoy them a lot more than I thought, which is not probably, it's probably not that weird because I feel like a lot of people watch TV shows and really enjoy them and can binge watch them all day. I've never really been able to do that. I know that I'm not. this is not going to last for very long. Like I'm going to enjoy doing it for a little while and then I'm going to get bored and be like, oh my god, I'm so lazy. I need to go outside and do some stuff. And then when that time comes around, we'll change it up. By the way, we've reached double elixir and I still haven't gone for an offensive expo, but it's okay, all right? Because that's the whole theme of this video. Though I've been enjoying myself, there is one thing I do have to say, actually, probably like three different things I have to say that really annoy me about TV and not just TV, but like movies as well. And let me get onto these. I hope some of you can relate so I don't sound like a crazy person. By the way, this deck works so well because when you play like this, you're basically whittling down their like emotional uh, endurance. Like they just don't have the ability to keep playing into you anymore when you just defend them so easily. And then they give up like this. So bye bye Terminator. It works. All right. That's all I have to say. Anyway, onto the annoying stuff. So number one thing that annoys me is just like cringy, poorly written characters. And it's usually because their dialogue is so bad, right? But there are so many characters who are supposed to be witty and clever and shit, but their lines are just so cringe that I just hate the character. Like they're supposed to be likable and everyone's supposed to be like, oh yeah, I wish I was that clever. I could speak that quickly. But to me, oh my God, dude, it's unbearable. I can't stand it. Anyway. That's number one. Number two, and this is the real bad one. This is the one that like, I actually cannot stand. And it's when actors stutter to be more natural. So, 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 for example, like in this, in this movie, there was this movie I was watching where like a guy basically goes out and does a bunch of, like survives in this really dangerous world. And the movie was pretty good, right? But he's supposed to be this low confidence character. And so the way that the actor decided to do it is when he was asked to like present his ideas to the group, he was like, uh, 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 me, 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 you want, wait, wait, you, 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 you want, you, 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 like, oh my God, dude, unbearable. Um, why did I just do that? It was so hard to listen to and so cringeworthy. I can't stand it, all right? And so yeah, actors stuttering to sound more natural, just stop, dude, stick to the script. One or two here and there, it's cool. But no, 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 not every sentence, all right? And I understand that there are people who stutter in real life, but these characters are not made to represent them, right? And it happens far too often. I, 
I just ugh, grinds my gears the wrong way, man. Uh, I guess there's not really a, white, uh, a right way to grind your gears, but here we are. I use that turn of phrase. And now that is what we're going to stick with. We're going to go for the Evo Tesla here. Hopefully that kills the witch. And we're all good, all right? We only take a few hundred damage there, and it was all my fault because I played really dumb at the start with those Barbarians. Now that we've hit Double Elixir, though, we are going to go for the Expo. This guy does have the Mega Knight and the Giant and the Barbs, which is just a great... And the Valk! Just a great way to ruin an Ice Bow player's day. But we are going to make this work. Um, he's going to Mega Knight as well. Wow, okay, we just... We're, like I said, we're building up a whole Clash of Clans base here. And it's gonna work out for us, right? I have so much confidence in this tactic. We're gonna pull this witch in as well. Hopefully get that off the map ASAP. So, oh god. He has the time to go- Wait, the time. He has the elixir to go for another giant. Are you kidding me? Okay, time to start logging the tower. We're gonna start spell cycling. If we can't break through, um, then we're just gonna build up a sick little base. Yeah, like this, right? So he thinks that he can just keep spamming troops and he's gonna win. No, we're gonna build up a little base and then we're gonna go for our rockets on the tower and then we're gonna win, all right? Because that's how um, life works for me. I win always. I've never lost, oh my God, this guy's got a rocket too. Okay, well, okay, dude, if you're gonna go aggressive like that, then I guess I will return the favor. Ah, uh, dude, what do I do? Evo Tesla's gonna come down. We're gonna play the ice with. I'm now stuttering, and I'm not even trying to make it sound like an actor who's trying to be natural. Uh, we're gonna play this here. Can I pull that? No. Okay. Well, let's just relax for a second. Time to go for a rocket of our own. I think we can afford it. Uh, he might go for a rocket in uh, return. Oh, wait. He doesn't. Okay. So that means we can just build up a sick little base here, and we should be all good. Alright, this guy for some reason did not decide to return the favor. Now he does. It's a little bit late. You've just spent five elixir on a card. We're gonna not keep that Ice Wiz alive. That was not great. We'll play another Tesla here for that Mega Knight. Let's play an Ice Wiz as well. Just keep it alive. And then we're gonna cycle another rocket. And I think because of the amount of yeah his deck is just so expensive he can't cycle as quick as we can and we've also got three spells to cycle which means we can just do stuff like this um keep everything alive okay wait 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 uh okay he's got arrows as well which does a lot of damage okay we're fine i think we're fine we can win this Okay, let's go for the log here. Let's go for the NATO as well. Pull everything back. Kill that Valkyrie first. And then we'll play the Ice Wiz to kill the Witch. Play another Rocket. I think we're going to outcycle him. Please, dude. Please don't make me lose this game. This is my tactic, okay? This guy's decided to steal my tactic. No, that Witch! Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, we won. Why did he not play the Rocket? I swear he was back. Well, we beat you lost. That's what? The guy's name is you lost, all right? He made it hard for me. Wow. Like I said, number one tactic for a reason. And finally, the last thing that annoys me, and boy oh boy, is this what one of the worst as well. It's like when a character just sucks. This is going to be really annoying. When a character just sucks at doing something, right? Like a guy just tries to start boxing and just cannot box to save his life, right? Or tries to shoot a bow and arrow and no matter what he does, the bow and arrow just will not go straight. And then all he does is remember this one thing that his mother said like, flow like water, my son, or some sh sh shit like that, right? And then suddenly, wow, I'm amazing at doing everything. How does that work, right? Because that is just not at all what happens in real life. And I know that movies are not meant to be real life, but at least try for it to be a tiny, tiny, teensy-weensy bit realistic. All right, we're gonna play the Ice Wiz here just to slow that down. Princess gonna die because a hog jumps over the bridge. He zaps nothing. Um, here is when I would be like, oh, he just wasted a bunch of elixir. Let's go aggressive. No. Defend all game. He decides to let that Ice Wizard connect anyway, but I know he's... One, two, three, four. He's four cards away from... <laughs> I don't know why I had to count what half of eight was there, but he's four cards away from his princess, so we're safe. We can play things in the back, and we'll be all good. Again, I'm going to log these spear goblins without letting it touch the tower, all right? Because I'm trying to minimize any offensive pressure that I have. 
we are gonna play the most defensive game of our lives. I should have actually played the tornado there just to pull that hog to king, but I didn't. It's a bit too late. So, what can you do? Am I right? We'll play the ice whiz back here just to take care of this eye drag as well. By the way, I hope that the mic sound, the mic quality has gotten better since I bought this boom arm. Because if I didn't, then I've just wasted a bunch of money. But this has got to be one of the cheapest investments I've ever made. And I feel like it's helped a lot. I want to just do more of those things. What else can I invest in? I really like all the money that I earn from YouTube. I don't want to keep any of it, right? I want to reinvest 100% of it back into the, um, oh, I'm going to just do the thing now. We're in double elixir. So I'm allowed to do this. Oh my god, dude. That is sexy. Um, we caught the hog in that too. That's why I freaked out there. He's played a cannon in the back. Knight's gonna get some damage on the tower. We're gonna go for an expo and an Evo Tesla. And I'm sorry, bro, but I think I think your life is just about over now. Um, we'll play the log here as well. Play the okay, I don't even have to do anything here. Let's just play the skeletons to protect. Play the tornado to kill those spear goblins. And then we should get a little lock on. We actually didn't. Wow. Again though, even though I'm tempted to just continue to be aggressive. Is that gonna get on my tower? Oh my god, that's gonna get a bunch of damage. Um, even though I'm very tempted to continue being aggressive, we're actually gonna keep playing the same way that got us here in the first place. AKA build a cock base. All right, cock as in C, classic, cla yeah. not cock as in like juicy fat cock kind of vibe. Anyway, here, maybe it's time to activate our king tower. So let's just do that real quick. Hog's going to activate that. Spear goblins are getting a bunch of damage on that uh, left side. I don't mind it too much because we're going to take another hog hit on this right, on this left side. Dude, I can't, why, why do I not know my left or my right? Time to go for an expo, Tesla the bridge, and then we're gonna do a cheeky tornado here just to damage everything. Um, hopefully that princess just dies ASAP. Gonna go for a knight here, cause he's gonna play spear goblins. Not in time though. Okay, nice. Please don't get a hit on my tower hog. I'm gonna be really mildly annoyed if you do. And we've got one minute to go, basically, just to end the video off in a poetic way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play the expo in the back. We're gonna play a Tesla up high for this. Like that, and then we're just gonna start cycling rockets, I think, because what better way is there to end a video than to just cycle rockets, am I right? Okay, he decides to go for a hog in the back. He's got some crazy strat lined up. Not sure exactly what it's gonna do, but sure. We're gonna catch everything in that NATO log. What a juicy combination. Let's play a Tesla up high. Uh, I'm getting the hiccups. The knight is- No, don't let the knight take it, dude. Let oh. Scutsy Groot. Just had to ruin it at the end. Well, you know what? Point proven. We won some nice games. This is the new number one strategy for Clash Royale ladder climbing. Go ahead and play it. Also, one more thing I wanted to talk about in my Discord. Some people made some YouTube shorts with my video, like with some of my storytelling, and then they just put the, the Clash at the bottom, my face on top, and then some captions. And they were worried that I would be like, that I wouldn't want that. Go ahead, do it. Do whatever you want, all right? I'm not gonna copyright it. I'm not gonna do any of that stuff. If you make any money from these shorts, you can keep it, I don't care. And yeah, obviously the better you make the videos, the more chance there is of blowing up, the more chance there is of you making money. So go ahead, take my footage, do whatever you want with it. Just the one thing I ask is repurpose it in some way. Like if you're making a full video into a short, then that's fine. Cause you're like, you're changing it, right? Just don't re-upload my content. Obviously I'm gonna have a problem with that. Secondly, don't impersonate me. Don't try to act like you are me. Post it as like a separate clips channel or whatever. That's cool. All right, do whatever you want. Good luck to you. Hopefully you make some big bucks. I appreciate the support on the videos. Click here if you want to see another video. Like, comment for the algorithm. Subscribe. Try this deck out. See you later. Bye-bye.